They have been pushed around up front. Second down and four. He's going to rifle that one again and caught. Completed pass and a big gain here. It'll be Caleb Smith. And he'll be dragged down. A first down, finally. It's hard to win with those numbers defensively. Stay on the field a little longer. Well, I would do it. Okay, little pitch here. Caleb Hood finds an opening. Got down close to the 40-yard line. Big first down there. May looking. Gets it away. Gets it to a tight end, Copenhaver. And picks up a first down. Working quickly here. Hood breaking free. Across the 20. And down he goes. Caleb Hood, the former quarterback, runs for 18. Second and goal. Drake May out of the gun. Hampton once again diving forward. Another pretty good stop. This one by Jalen Griffin, the defensive end. You know, coming into the backfield, here's Griffin, and you know, I don't know, it doesn't look like they're reading it because May, May is not looking what you would expect out of a young running back. Off the play fake, and a diving catch, and that one completes to Antoine Green. Nice play by him for North Carolina. Freshman on the run, puts it in the air, and this catch is going to be made. Down on the sideline by Downs, who turned to find it, and it's 25 yards and a first down for North Carolina. Josh Downs is only at 5'10", and Drake May is forced outside the pocket, and because it's fourth down, it's just kind of forced to throw it up there, and the adjustment to the football was just absolutely outstanding. That's on Shamari Connor, who's a good physical player. Find the football and then react to it. That's a really nice play for your quarterback by Josh Downs. Officially, it is on the way, and it is good as time expires here in the first half. It's an uptick. You know, after, you know, give, you know giving up a long touchdown drive, to respond with less than 30 seconds left in the half was impressive. Two tight ends in, Morales and Copenhaver. And a handoff and scampering into the end zone for the touchdown. Great May for the first down. On a play fake over the middle, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Carolina, that's Gray. And North Carolina forced into turnover. In great position. Going to fire for the end zone. And caught. And a touchdown. Anton Green going airborne. 16-yard reception for six. He has led them to a 21-3 lead. First down and 10 for the Tar Heels. They are on the move again. And he's really pared down the running backs today. Caleb Hood there on the carry. And... Second down on the ground again trying to bust outside. It's King. He had some room to operate before he's taken down. Keep in mind, Virginia Tech will get the ball to start the second half. Wells will tuck. He's running for the end zone. He's in for six. Grant Wells with a touchdown. 20 seconds to go. Still on his feet. Across the 50. Picks up. Another first down. You know, to be working the sidelines, and if not, you probably need to burn your timeout. Picked up 14 there from the pocket. Well, throw that one in complete and caught by Green, who has been his favorite guy. You get a sense of Grant Wells' arm strength because he's kind of running away from where he's trying to throw the football, and then a good job of working the sideline by Lofton. Clearly catches it. In fact, there's two feet in. And... First and 10. Off play action, moving again, and throws this one complete to Downs on the sideline. Three third and longs where, where he really delivers mm. differently each time. Play action again. Has time to throw and complete. That's going to be caught by Nesbitt. Nesbitt getting down inside the five on a major strike. It's how to attack a team vertically. They keeping it and pushing into the pile straight on. And they're going to call that a touchdown. They say he got in. 
A late call there, but a touchdown, North Carolina. All right, third and 11. May fires another completion. Bryson Nesbitt, who they love one on one with just about anybody, picks up 20. But shouldn't be surprised if he's got brothers that are basketball players, yes. right? Oh, breaking free on the outside. Long, long run. And pushed out. It's Amarion Hampton. The young quarterback downs in motion. He's going to roll it right. Still up. Leaping high as he is upended. An acrobatic play. So you're saying they're pretty good athletes in that family. Yes. And all in Carolina blue. Except for one brother who went to Florida to play baseball. Second down, 14. He'll go over the top and it's down. It's trying to break away. As he is last two down. Lost it for a moment, but picked back up by Carolina. A 33-yard gain. Another one of these examples. They fake a screen, and he's just able to kind of get reorganized and make the throw to Josh Downs. That's great anticipation and touch, and Downs does lose that football, but. And brings up second down nine. Going quick, right over the middle, and into the end zone, a touchdown by Bryson Nesbitt. No stopping him, 25 yards on that strike. Outside the framework of his body, and playing with that suddenness and that quickness, and then the athleticism of Nesbitt. He's got third and five here, with about 12 minutes left in this contest. Going to throw this one and connects with his receiver on the money to Morales, the tight end. And then how about this in terms of ball placement? This is what I mean, you know, so a little movement in the pocket, probably drifts into trouble, doesn't need to, but then the ball placement with the defender with his back turned, you know, how you can basically throw the guy and still keep him open. You know, North Carolina State, their best chance to, to upset Clemson. It's a very high standard. We'll see if that plays out. Brown. Now trying to run out of there, and he's tipped up from behind. Down he goes. Unable to gain anything. In fact, lost one. 47 yards and maybe slightly over that now. But you're talking about four yards per play you know, on the night. That's pretty good work by the Tar Heels defensively. Going to pick up a first here. Guys, now really took a lick there. He's a North Carolina transfer. You know how things have gone for them defensively, but right. it's kind of a calm knowing that look, if I panic, then it's probably going to cause more panic, you know, on the defensive side. And, and he hasn't done that, and they played better. Brown sacked on the play. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN. Plus.